let's start, John, with the sort of broader economic context. Where are we today in terms of Northern Ireland's productivity performance relative to Great Britain, also relative to Ireland, perhaps? And how did we get here? What are what are the traits from the recent and perhaps more distant past that actually are determining today's productivity position? So, so using output per hour worked, <clears throat> Northern Ireland is is currently the worst performing region in the UK and has been for, for several decades. To put a, put a number on that, over the past decade, Northern Ireland has been about 16% below uh, the UK's level of, of, of productivity. The recent ONS figures for uh, 2019 show that Northern Ireland's productivity is 9.6% below the median region in the UK, which I believe is the West Midlands. And then if we think of the gap with the Republic of Ireland, well, that's even more stark, uh, you know, given that we we inhabit the same uh, island. Uh, so even if we stripped out the effect of, of non-resident owned firms on, on Ireland's output, those large multinationals that are headquartered in Dublin, if we strip those out, there is still a substantial productivity gap between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland of the order of magnitude from 20 to 25 percent. And, and, and Northern Ireland's productivity gap with the rest of the UK, it, it's a bit of a puzzle because it was present before the Troubles. Uh, and it was there when Northern Ireland was founded 100 years ago. And so that, to me, points to some very deep-seated explanations uh, for Northern Ireland's productivity gap with the rest of the UK. And simply blaming, blaming the gap and say the Troubles or the legacy of the Troubles, for, for me, doesn't really hold up. 